Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Sitting next is Mike Brenner. This is the MLB Odds Couple Show for Thursday, April 28th. Mike Brenner, we got a short card today, yeah. just eight games, but some interesting situations. Kind of a sure tough is. card, actually. Let's throw the record up on the board. Mike Brenner, you uh, you like to take risks with your picks, don't you? You like to yeah. take those run lines, man. I do. I, I hit two of them last night and should have hit yeah, another. Yeah, Texas, but, but the, you I know, know, I mean. I know it. Sometimes it, it bites yeah. me in the ass, Pistol Pete, but you know, you know what? I just got to go with what I'm feeling. Yeah, you win. Sometimes it pays off big time, and you're going to go four and one with underdog plays, sometimes you're going to have a bunch yeah. of one-run games yeah, that you no would have won if you had taken the money line. No doubt. So I guess that'll even out long-term, right? I mean, it feels like you've gotten a little bit unlucky overall with the uh, run lines recently. Yeah, and I think I'm going to pull, you know, you'll see a little pattern where I, where I really kind of cash yeah. pretty heavy comfortably on them as well. But when when the, some of these money lines are so high right now, yeah. I mean, you can't We'll, we'll talk about that beat. in a second. But yeah. overall, Mike Brenner, you are still up. I don't have your exact uh, uh, numbers in my head, but it's something like 6% ROI, which is great. Okay. Up, you're up about four units or something. Something like that, three or four okay. units, which is which is excellent in baseball. Right. So well, still... I, I like today. There's a couple good spots on really? your pistol feet. Because I, I looked at these games. We got eight games, and there's nothing that I really uh, jumped on on the overnight lines. I guess the one that I would let's start with the Maeda game, right? That was one I was most. I did bet that one a little bit on the overnight. Uh, Fernandez obviously is yeah. awesome, but he has troubles on the road. Yes, but the main does. issue is just, I mean, if there's any one of these starters who maybe does, does legitimately deserves to be minus 300 against anyone, it's this guy Maeda. And the be. line right now, just minus 120. What I do you know, think about I, that? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused at what's going on with the bats with the Dodgers, so I'm... Yeah. Kind of, I don't know. I'm just. It's got that ten foot pole written all over it for me. I, I was even thinking about maybe doing the under, and mm -hmm. I'm not a totals guy. but yeah. I think both these pitchers are capable of bringing it today. Absolutely, I would definitely be leaning towards the under. I'm also leaning towards the Dodgers uh -oh. on the first five. I mean, it's just I, I, I'm going to give a pick, and if, if there's nothing that I'm really loving today, but if yeah. I have to give one, that might be it. Now let's move on to the Cubs line. Jake Arrieta, yeah, that's just ridiculous. Minus three sixty. Yep. <laughs> and you know what's interesting? We were talking yesterday about this, the the little um, jinx that comes after a no no. Well, yeah. yesterday he gets a rain out. I wonder if that helps him mentally. He might come on fire. You know, just come out there today on fire. I mean, maybe, whether it helps him or hurts him mentally, yeah. you're still laying three sixty. Yeah, and I'm not going to do it. Look at what happened to Kershaw the other day. And yeah. again, that was a fluke. But still, that's I just don't get those big huge lines. It's not even worth taking a risk on a run line. And for that. you know, I'm looking at the lines right now. Sometimes, like you look, I look at like Heritage to indicate if there's a favorite. That maybe shouldn't be a favorite. Yeah. Market wide is 350, 360. Heritage minus 366. Gosh, wow, they're pushing up there, buddy. That might top off at 370 today. Oh, and I so. checked that. Remember that game we were talking about before? Yeah. It was uh, Hideo Nomo against Randy Johnson, oh, June okay. 21st, 2005. The minus close, 400, right? The closing line was minus 380. And he lost. No, they won. They, oh, won. they, did they, win. they killed him. They okay. killed him. But uh, yeah, I, I wonder what the back. biggest line of baseball ever Hey, how'd been. you do on your tweets last night? Did you tweet anything out? Oh, yeah. uh, I, had, I, I did uh, two, uh, two, uh, two NBA second halves. Okay. Okay, no baseball. I don't, oh, yeah, I did play baseball. Baseball was, uh, some of them were good. So I, I tweeted, oh, my first one was was the uh, was the Boston over nine. I was like, what's up yeah. with this line? Yeah. I was like, I love that one. And that one cashed. Yeah. Then I also tweeted the KC second half one. Why did I do that? But it, it lost. I know, KC <laughs> you know? Sure. But, um, yeah, but I tweeted, uh, I definitely tweeted out uh, the, the Boston over. I guess we can talk about the Boston game now again. Uh, that line yesterday didn't make sense to me. It was nine and a half, then it went down to nine. I was like, yeah. what's going on here? And we got Chassin and Buckholz. And it's yeah, a, again a scene. low total. That's what worries me. He could get roped. But Boston's fi they're finding some groove right now. They're picking up some mojo. And I don't know, Pete, if you've been recognizing what's going on, but Dustin Pedroia has been stepping up. Yeah, no, they've this. been killing it. Yeah, so I don't know. You and the total all confused right now is eight and a half plus 100. I don't know. So I'm it opened at eight and a half, and it's been bet down. Yeah. If I took Boston today, I think it would bite me in the ass, so I'm staying off of it. And yeah. I'm, I'm under the weather as I'm well I'm telling you, anyway, this, is a, so. this is a wacky, wacky card. Then another one that's yeah. interesting, let's talk about this one, the White Sox at Baltimore. Mike How Brenner, about the White Sox? Come on now. First of all, two things about the White Sox. Did you know the White Sox are, are cashing 83% of their second halves? I didn't know and that. And second of all, did you know that Baltimore, despite playing in a, with a good lineup and in a, in a hitter-friendly park, is 0-7 over under at home? All seven of their home that. games have gone under. Well, then I think you ought to be jumping all over that pistol, Pete. No, I was, I mean, I I, I would leave with, with Banks and Wilson. I would definitely be leaning towards the over eight and a half. But, you know, I, I am impressed with what's happening with this offense. And again, we yeah. talked about it. They reloaded that offense. They totally imploded that roster. But their pitching has just absolutely been spectacular. Danks is about the worst yeah. one that they have. And his last outing, the 31-year-old turned it around, had a nice outing. So, so I'm top, staying off of that one, buddy. But I got two other ones I'm interested in. You know, in the White sure. Sox are the number one team in baseball in terms of uh, profitability right. as of right now. Amazing. 
Baltimore's number two. So yeah, it's really look tough. what the Phillies are doing. They're helping their back. They're number as well. three. They're number three. They're number one in the National Very League. So this is a, this is a, this is a, a, a tough card. Then yeah. let's talk about Philly. Number three, Philly, the t the most profitable team in the National yeah. League. Who would have seen that coming, right? Not not at all. And uh, you know it's it's tempting to take them again here. They got one of their better pitchers going, Nola, right, and a big mm. underdog line at plus one six one fifty two. Yeah, I'm on this game. That's for sure. Really? Let's hear what you have yeah, to say. Yeah, I'm going with the run line with the Nationals mm. plus one twenty five. Harper loves this guy, Bryce Harper. And but you know what they've been doing? He's got. They gave him five intentional walks the last two games, so they know how to stay away from getting them on the on the bags. Yeah. But when he does uh, bat against this guy, he's five for seven, Pete, and he's got two home runs, so he knows how to bring it. And I think today the Phillies, you know, this little magic they found, I think they're yeah, going to just come back out, down yeah. there. And I Washington, think Nationals are going to go off. Yeah. Washington is also one of the uh, the top profitable and, teams in the yeah, National. And League. Rourke's two point six three RA. This kid's real deal. He's two for two, and uh, you know, two wins, two losses right now. And, I think he's focused. I think the Nationals are going to come out and get it done because you know who's breathing right up their neck? The New York Mets, baby. Yeah, they're they're eventually, the Mets are going to go on a run where they're so, profitable. Well, so, if you want the run I'm, line, I'm, you could take a market line of 130, or we could give you Pinnacle plus well, 133. Well, give me like. the 133. 133? I'll take Pinnacle, okay, absolutely. And I, I grabbed it at 125 earlier, so I'm glad to see it jump. Ooh, and then Pistol then, Pete doing the line shopping yeah, but today. And then the next one we have is uh, is is Waka and De La Rosa in St. Louis. I mean, this one, Waka, what's up with him? Yeah. His last game, he was at San Diego Zero strikeouts, four walks. That's ominous right there, yes, right? Yes, I know. And De La Rosa is kind of like, who knows what's going to go with him. Yeah, he he's, he, yeah, he's got a six ERA right now. He's struggling, De La Rosa. And uh, Holiday's picking it up for Cardinals. And, you know, they have scored 45 runs in the last five games. 26 yeah. of those runs coming against the D-backs. Yeah. So they know how to score against this team. I love it today. I'm going with the Cardinals. What's mm, that money line at right the now? The best line we can give you is a bunch of places. Minus 111. What yep. were you expecting? That's what I'm taking. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, I was seeing 108, 109, and then I mm -hmm. saw even 113. So I'll take the Cardinals on the money line. That's my second and final play. Man, this is a so, tough card. Mike it is Renner. a tough card, and it's a small card, and the yeah. lines are, you know. All right, well, I got to give a pick. I'll tell you what I'm debating. I'm either take, I'm either going to take the Dodgers on the first half or, like, St. Louis on the second half. Maybe I could just go with Boston on the run line. Come on, Pistol uh, Pete. Pull the trigger. It's tough. All right, I guess I'll pull the trigger with um, – I'll pull the trigger with the St. Louis Cardinals on the second half line. Okay. It should be about minus 130, minus 125 or so. Sounds about right. Second and half as line. far as the Dodgers on the first half, man, that's Come just on. Fernandez can be lights out. Now yeah. I'm going to pass on You're that. going to pass. Tough card. Okay. Very tough card, Mike Brenner. I didn't hit it anything is. on the overnight lines except for that Dodgers money line. So I'll give one pick, the St. Louis Cardinals on the second half, whatever that opens at. And what are your two picks again? I've got two. I'm going with the Nationals on the run line, playing uh, paying back 132, I think. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what it 133. is. 133. And also I got the Cardinals on the money. Money line yeah. minus 111. I'm under the weather. I've been getting a little beat up in basketball, yeah. so I'm looking for a nice, peaceful night at home. Got to roll what with I the need. punch as well. It's a short card, tough yes. card in baseball. We'll be back tomorrow, though, with a full card for Friday. Absolutely, and feeling a lot better, too, and we're going to get it done.